This is Van Spotlight, where we take a look at some of Outside Van's most premium van conversions. We'll break down all the specs and dive into what makes a custom, one-of-a-kind Outside Van. In this episode, we'll take a look at Explore, which was built in a 2019 four-wheel drive Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 170 Extended Dually Chassis. This van was custom built to give our customer the ultimate editing studio while on the road. The van layout features a modular seating and sleeping area as well as a dedicated garage area in the rear. Let's head inside and check it out. First up, the kitchen. Our custom design and manufactured galleys make cooking on the road extremely easy. This design features a sink, recessed induction cooktop, and a fridge-freezer combo with tons of room for food and drinks. This lagoon mount is placed so that the table can be raised for extra counter space. Here's my favorite part of the build, the hangout area. Our team built boxing on both sides of the van that act as both a seat with custom-made cushions and a storage area for the 25-gallon custom stainless steel water tank and the 600-amp-hour lithium-ion power system, complete with a 2,000-watt magnum inverter. With a lagoon table mount here, this table provides the perfect space to hang out and eat a meal. For entertainment anywhere, we've installed this articulating TV wall mount with a 43-inch TV. And don't forget about the sound. Our customer chose to include a state-of-the-art JL audio system. When the day is done, the lounge area transforms into one large sleeping area for a good night's sleep. You may notice there's a lot of overhead cabinetry, around 13 feet of it. These custom-made cabinets provide the perfect storage space for food, clothes, bedding, and any other gear. The more cabinetry in a van, the more the van conversion weighs and affects how the vehicle drives. This is one of the main reasons this was built on a 3500 Dually chassis, not to mention the increased towing capacity. When the weather is hot, keeping the inside of the van cool is important. We've installed a 20,000 BTU rooftop aftermarket air conditioner, which has been paint matched to the van's exterior. When it's a little less hot, this Max Air roof vent helps with airflow, which is necessary when cooking inside the van. We've also added a slider door screen that lets in tons of fresh air, but keeps pesky bugs out. And when traveling in cold conditions, the Wabasto diesel heating system warms up the cabin air in no time. Behind this soft garage wall is the rear garage area. This space is large enough to hold tons of gear and features a removable aluminum shower pan and space for a porta potty. We've installed a floor drain and included a removable shower curtain so it's possible to take showers in the privacy of the van. The pan then easily stores out of the way when it's not in use. For a pleasant water usage experience, our team installed an S-Bar hydronic diesel heating system that provides hot water to both the shower and the sink up front. Heading to the outside, you'll see that we installed a rear door ladder, which includes VersaTie track on the rungs to attach a number of custom accessories. The ladder allows easy access to the roof, where you'll find a Pacasport Apollo roof box with 25 cubic feet of storage space and 180 watts of solar. This solar power, along with the secondary alternator, provide a steady stream of charge to the house lithium ion batteries, making off-grid camping possible. For exterior lighting, we've installed our rear light bar that houses two by two lights, our front combo rack, which includes a 50 inch light bar, and a bumper bracket that holds two six inch fog lights. And our fixed steps provide a much needed boost into the van. And that wraps up our tour of Explore. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with the team at Outside Van. And also check out OutsideVan.com for new van conversions posted weekly. See you on the outside!